Good morning, River Mill. Timbers! Happy Friday. It's going to be a great day. We have so much awesome stuff going on. But one really important thing. I know Miss Hill and Mrs. Harris have been coming around to talk about bullying. But it is really important that we understand we need to recognize when it's happening. We need to report it to someone around us that's safe to report it to. And we need to refuse that bullying by saying stop. We do not accept that behavior here. Right. We gotta take care of each other and make sure this is a safe, kind place to be. It's very, very important. That's awesome, great information there. And also we know that today is the Jogathon, so we hope you guys have a great time out there jogging on the track, having fun. We wanna remind you that the pledge sheets are due by October 14th. So it gives you about two weeks to get all of that money collected and bring it back into school by October 14th. And later today, we get to go outside and watch the high school homecoming parade. Yay, it's my favorite it's so thing. Cool. I love yeah. it. Well, you'll get to see your kids out there too. I huh? will, okay. yeah. That's exciting. And we want to make sure that you guys stay on the sidewalk, be safe, have fun, just enjoy that special time. And one last announcement is coming up next Friday. There is no school. October 8th, no school. So we only have four days of school that week. No school on October 8th. Hey Timbers. Hey, I know we told you guys that on Friday, October 8th, there's no school, but I feel like I'm forgetting another announcement, something really important. I feel like it was Monday, October 4th, but I don't remember what's happening on that day. What? What? Oh, you're right. Thank you for reminding me. Monday, October 4th is school picture day. So be ready for that. I think picture order forms have already been sent home in their backpacks. So don't forget, Monday, October 4th, picture day. Here we go. Okay, today is October 1st and we are going to be celebrating collaboration this month. That means that we're working together to achieve a common goal. So as we look at collaboration, there is so many different ways that you can collaborate with the people around you, with your teacher, with your peers, at home, with your families, how you work together to accomplish something. And so we're gonna honor students yes. this month that we see collaborating with those around them on a regular basis, not just one time, mm -hmm. but they're doing it all the time and everything that they do, whether it's at recess, at lunch, in the classroom, or even at home. So yeah. let's look out for those that are showing collaboration. Working together to solve a problem or, mm -hmm. or a common goal. That is awesome. And you know, you and I have been working with our custodians Oh yeah. to collaborate, to solve mm -hmm. an issue. Because we have an issue in our bathrooms some of them are not being kept clean. No, we're stuff not. Stuff on the there. floor, uh, stuff on the stalls. It's, uh, I feel so sorry for our custodians. They do such a wonderful job and they're such sweet people. Mm -hmm. And they should not have to clean up messes mm -hmm. like that. No. So we're collaborating and working to try to find ways that we can keep our bathrooms clean. And we need your help uh -huh. to do that. We are safe, respectful, and responsible, and kind students at this school. So we need you guys to help keep our bathrooms clean. And if you see something that needs to be picked up, you can pick it up, right? Mm -hmm. Or if you see somebody doing something and there shouldn't, tell them stop, that's not appropriate. Mm -hmm. So collaboration, and we can cut down on these bathroom issues. I know we can do it. Yeah, it's our school. We want yeah. to take good care of it. Absolutely. And we don't want other people to have to do extra work because we're not being responsible. No. So let's work together. Let's collaborate on how we can keep our bathroom super clean so our custodians aren't spending extra time cleaning up messes they shouldn't have to clean up. That's right. We got this. Good morning. Happy Friday, River Mill students. It is a great day because today is our Jogathon day, which is kind of like a race around the track. You know, I'm up here on a roof. I've got to clean out some gutters before the rain comes. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to do jokes with a vice principal. And I found some about kind of racing or jogging. So here we go. What type of race is never run? A swimming race? Okay, question for you. 
Did you hear what happened at the race between the lettuce and the tomato? The lettuce was always ahead and the tomato was playing catch up. <laughs> All right, couple more for you. How did the barber finish first in the race? He took a shortcut. Okay, last one. Why did the pig lose at the jogging race? He pulled a hamstring. Oh my goodness. Well, hey, you guys go enjoy your day. Have a great jogathon. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you soon. All right, it's birthday time. Happy birthday. Okay, we have some kids that are celebrating their birthday coming up, and that is, whew, careful with that, Caden in Miss Aaron's class, Cav and Eli in Miss Allred's class, Henry in Colby's class, Paris in Miss Jury's class, Athena, Adam, and Tenley all in Miss Litherland's class, Tegan in Miss Guffey's class, and Porter in Miss Soul's class. Happy birthday to Happy all birthday. of you. All right, and now we get to end with the pledge. So go ahead and stand up if you'd like. We put our right hand over our heart. Ready, begin. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great day, Riverman! Go, Go Timber!